I'm a professor at Aquinas College. I teach economics and do research in environmental economics and public finance. I live, uh, I guess, what is considered downtown proper. Um, it's just over by Lyon. Uh, so really close to Heritage Hill, I guess what they used to call Old East End. Most days the rapid takes me from a stop near my home to Aquinas College. That's my everyday rider, so to speak. Um, but I also use the bus to go to the farmer's market. I use the bus to go downtown. And, I, and I've also used the bus to um, go a little bit south. Um, there's some stores and stuff that we like to shop at down there. So really the, the bus takes us, takes us kind of all around the town. Um, fr Fridays now my girlfriend and I have a little bit of a tradition where she will take the bus to somewhere and I'll meet her there and then we take the bus home and we really we really come to enjoy that it's, it's just a nice fun enjoyable experience and again not having to worry about having a car is it puts a lot of the fears of driving it to rest so I've been riding the rapids since I first came to Grand Rapids so I've been riding the rapids since August I would say fall of 2013 a convenience I mean I ride the rapid because for me personally it's just the best option uh, I live in a, in, a, in a city that snows a lot uh, and I just would like to avoid having to ride, uh, drive a car as much as possible. And so the convenience factor, the reliability, I, in fact, I would imagine the bus may be more reliable than I am at times of, of getting in, in, at certain times and everything. So um, just the whole aspect of not having to drive, the whole aspect of, of knowing that I'm going to get to a place at a particular time as long as I'm at the bus stop at a particular time. So, I mean, I ride the bus because it's convenient for me. I, I really enjoy the the fact that I get to meet people and talk to people that I otherwise wouldn't. Um, you meet, when you're on a bus line, you see the other people that are in other parts of town, but also on the bus line. So not necessarily in your neighborhood. Um, so I get to meet a lot of people and have a lot of nice conversations. And it really, for me at least, makes me feel a little bit more part of the community, other than if I was just in my car yelling at these people as they drove to work as well, you know, as we were complaining about each other. Instead, we get to kind of enjoy each other on the bus. So that's probably the other big, biggest reason. Well, as I mentioned, as, a, as sort of a young professional, Grand Rapids offers a lot for me. Uh, a lot of places to um, seek recreation. There's a lot of really nice uh, amenities inside of Grand Rapids itself. It's a young city, so there's a lot to do. There's a lot of places to eat, a lot of places to go enjoy a nice Michigan beer. Um, but I also really enjoy the um, collegiate atmosphere that you get in a, uh, at Grand Rapids, where you have all these schools, and they, cre they create this collegiate system where it feels like you're in the middle of academics, you know, sort of academia is going on in Grand Rapids, and I really like that. And as, as an academic myself, I feel at home. I feel very much at home here. So, so yeah, we have a car. Um, you got to, sometimes you have to take the car some places. You want to go on trips every once in a while. Um, but I, we use the car maybe a couple times a week at most. Uh, and it's nice just to kind of have a car, to have it, but also it's nice not to move it, not to, to put gas in it all the time, not to have to uh, get out in the weather. And so it's, it's been interesting to, at times, force myself to not drive because there's this natural inclination to, I have to go somewhere, well, then let's drive. But it's, it's almost become a game where I figure out what buses I need to take, what are the transfers I need to go, do I need to go to Central Station? Um, so it's been very interesting to transition from, living in the South where I had to have a car to get anywhere to now living in a city where it's now an option. And that option is a great opportunity for me. Uh, it just gives me, I like to think about things, I like to plan and stuff. And so for me, it's, it's, it's a fantastic excuse to do those things. Well, I, you know, I, I would use economic principles to explain why. So again, when we're out in our cars and we're uh, congesting interstates and congesting uh, roadways um, and getting mad at each other, as I mentioned, we could alleviate a lot of that if we transition to mass transit and to public transportation systems. Um, and so for me, I, I tell people, hey, do you, you know, not enjoy getting in your car every day and, you know, sort of slogging through the snow to get to work? Well, then there's this option you have if it's convenient for you. The other thing that I often tell people um, is that it's a way to support the city itself. So if you're riding the rapid, then you're supporting a public institution within the city. So it goes beyond just a convenience factor, but it also goes into an ethos that you may have, sort of an ethic um, about how you believe we should be treating not just the environment, but also how we should be treating the city itself. 
I mean, we, like I said, we have a car. Um, we've um, we, we done the bike thing for a little bit as well, which has been fantastic. It's, it's been a, a, a nice way to get some exercise. Uh, coming from Tennessee, there's a lot fewer hills here, so the, the, ba the bikes make a lot more sense. If I had to get in my car and come to work, I would miss out on the enjoyment of walking to the bus stop and listening to a podcast or listening to music. Now, I could certainly, you know, put music in the car, that's, that's, but I have to pay more attention when I'm in the car. I can't and really enjoy what I'm listening to as much. Whereas during my walk to the bus, and even when I get on the bus, I get to check out a little bit. I get to kind of listen to what I'm listening to or have a conversation with somebody. Um, and so that, I really, I greatly enjoy that. I get to have a little bit of a peaceful time. Uh, again, that's just not spent uh, behind a red light. There was one, one time in particular, it was very shortly after I started riding the bus and there was, um, an older lady who every, basically every day we picked her up at the exact same spot. And it was always sort of a, she had a hard time getting on the bus. And one day she, she had all these groceries and I had no idea why she had all these groceries. Um, and, I, and it was really fun to see everybody, you know, there's probably four or five of us on the bus and to see everybody get off the bus, help her bring her groceries on to the bus. And it just felt very nice. It was just one of those memories that, you know, I think back to that and I think, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're good people to each other. You know, it, it gave me a little bit of faith. You know, it's very easy to get cynical uh, in, in the times we live in. And that was a, an instance where the cynicism was washed away for at least a little bit of time. So I've not ridden many other transit systems, so I, I can't really speak to its, you know, sort of the efficacy of the rapid, but I can say that to me, it's, you know, the only problems I've ever had with the rapid have been sort of my own issues, not getting to a bus, on bus stop on time, um, or maybe just not planning ahead as much. It's an incredibly reliable service. I I've been blown away in many respects by how reliable it is, how on time it tends to be, and how smoothly they get around the city. Uh, and I think as they open up more lines and as the city comes to embrace mass, mass transit even more, that will just simply improve.